Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and in this video I want to showcase the very popular NPM module called Chalk. Okay, so if you head over to the NPM uh, website for the Chalk module, we can see here we have over 23 million weekly downloads. So it's a very popular library and as the documentation clearly demonstrates, you can do a lot of interesting things to spice up your console.log. So um, basically Chalk provides you with terminal styling. Okay, so it also recommends that if you're on Windows, you download um, the terminal called Commander. So it's going to give you the most support for um, all of Chalk's features. Okay, but any basic terminal such as um, Command Prompt, PowerShell or even Bash um, will give you um, basic support. but uh, the chalk documentation does recommend you actually go ahead and download Commander. Okay, so to install chalk inside your npm uh, project, you simply type out npm install and then chalk. Hit enter and it will install chalk inside your uh, npm project. Okay, so let's go ahead now and take a look at some of the features of chalk. Alright, so inside uh, the text editor, Let's first go ahead and actually uh, require the chalk module. So let's make a new constant called chalk equal to require and put chalk inside there. Okay, so now we have the chalk uh, module loaded. We can then go ahead and start using it. Um, however, uh, you'll see in the documentation they like to um, shorthand console.log. So if you just type out const log equals console.log, um, using log like that is now shorthand for saying console.log. Okay, so let's take a look here. Um, firstly, at basic coloring that Chalk provides you with. So, I'll just say uh, basic colors right here. Cool. So, um, we can uh, quite simply using the API, um, uh, you know, demonstrate or output some basic colors. So, we can say, for example, log. So basically console.log and now we can say chalk.red for example and put a string inside here. So we can say hey this is decode. Alright, I'm going to do the same thing for two more colors. We can use magenta and we can just say I am magenta. And we can say for example yellow and make this banana. Alright, cool. So now I can save this, hop inside Commander, and then run the Node.js script. And we can see here we get some very cool colors in the terminal. Okay, so um, that is the usage of colors, and I believe this is going to work basically across all terminals. Okay, cool. So now we can take a look at background colors. So we can say background colors, and here in a similar fashion, we can say log chalk.bg red. For a red background color, I can say, yeah, I have a red background. Okay, and do the same thing for BG green. And I can just say here, for example, forest. And save this and run this in the terminal. And we get that right there. Cool. And just by the way, um, on the uh, documentation on the module web page, if you scroll down, you can see all of these examples and also um, all of the methods um, for things such as the colors and the background colors. So um, it provides you with all these methods to basically uh, pick and choose from. Okay, so now we have things such as styling and general uh, text decoration. So we can say here, styling and decoration. This is for bold and underlined text. So we can say log chalk.bold, you can say I am bold, and we can say underline here, and we can uh, enter in look at me. We can see here the API and the usage is uh, very similar and it's very straightforward. I can save this and run this, and we get bold and underline text right there. Okay, beautiful. Cool, so uh, what's awesome about this is you can even um, chain your uh, your methods so for example if you want to make a um, a yellow uh, red background and underline text you can do this uh, very easily so for chaining we can say log 
uh, chalk.yellow, so yellow text, and then dot bg red, red background, dot underline, and we can say warning. A second example here, we can say chalk green text, a white background, and bold styling. And this will be, or right, let's just say what is happening. Cool, save this and run this script. And we get our combined um, styles right there. And the green is completely illegible, but that's okay. All right, we also have access to hex and RGB colors. So for completely custom experience, uh, we can add our own uh, custom um, colors. So we can say log chalk.hex. I'm going to pass in here the decode green code. So that, uh, this will be uh, 009879. And we can say bold and decode green. Okay, so passing in the hexadecimal um, color code. Okay, and we can also use RGB. This will take three arguments, red, green, and blue. Say for example, 2250. And we can just say, I wonder what this will be. Cool, so I can save this and run this and we get on the bottom here some custom colors. But unfortunately, I don't think I could actually get this to work on my PC, but with your terminal and your setup, this may work for you. All right, and that right there is the chalk module as part of NPM. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later.